and a psychic turtle. A psychic turtle. Yeah, I can read somebody's mind. No way. Yes, I just need a volunteer and I'll show you. Now, Julius, are, are you in your shell? Yeah. Julius, you don't, you, don't, you don't sound like you're in your shell. All right, I'm in my shell. You, you think it's, it's four? Yeah, it's four. Is he right, Russell? I'm amazing. I'm the psychic turtle. Wow, this is awesome. Wow, I can't believe. Yeah, I'm amazing. Oh. He, what? Okay, wait. He, okay, Julius. What? But that wasn't right. That wasn't the way the trick was supposed to go. It wasn't fair. So, so what I thought was is really cool about this is now everybody here knows they can be a good bystander. Now, bullying is a much more difficult thing. I know that. I know that sometimes you know, it might be a friend of yours that's doing the bullying, or it might be you're worried somebody might target you next as a, as a person. But being a bystander is really important. We, we know in our hearts when something is wrong, when something's not fair, and we have to stand up as bystanders to make sure that doesn't happen. If it's going to tell a teacher or if it's being a friend to that person who's being bullied, sometimes that's enough to make it, make it stop. This is, a, this is a new version of the Morning Beyond. This is Al. But Al, what are you doing? Uh, what? I, I told everybody you're a space alien. Oh, uh, I should have uh, told you, Tim. I'm actually not a space alien anymore. What? What? I am now a, uh, a Santa's elf. What? Can I show them your head? Oh, all right. Take this silly hat off. It's overheating my brain. Ah! See, <laughs> so he's got this cool alien head. Do you really think it's cool? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you guys think it's cool? Do you guys think it's cool? Yeah. See... Now, what happened to you? Well, somebody called me a picklehead. Everybody laughed, and then they actually told a bunch of people that my skin was all sticky and slimy. And it's not. No, it's not. It's not. So, so people actually spread a rumor about you, too? Yeah, people spread a rumor about me. Oh, that. You know, I think you've been a victim of, of bullying, Al. So, this, yeah, because you're, you're Al the alien. He's, like, really cool. But if he's Santa's elf, he's only ever going to be a, a second-place Santa's elf. Oh, yeah, I wasn't very good at a Santa's elf. I don't even know about toys at all. Let's all try and be our, our best selves rather than trying to be anybody else. If somebody makes fun of us, then that's their problem. It's not really ours. We have to all work together to, to you know, keep everybody feeling good about ourselves. I was so scared. Oh my goodness, I didn't know what to do. I saw the chicken coming and I didn't know I was going to run away. A chicken. Wow. I was so scared. I saw the chicken and I was going to see the chicken like that. I was so scared. I was, I was looking at what Brooklyn was going to do. I was so scared. I didn't know I was shaking and not doing it. I was so scared. Awesome. Okay, perfect. And I found out that sometimes people think it's funny to make fun of others and make jokes about things people can't change about themselves, and that is bullying. That's the most common form of bullying, is people calling names. The first thing I wanted to show you guys, I'm a professional comedian, and part of why I think people think it's funny to make fun of people is because they see, they see shows on TV or cartoons or movies where people look like their feelings are getting hurt. Really? But those aren't real. No, what do you mean? I could actually take your, your voice away. You could not, I dare you to. You could... We could actually switch voices. What? We can switch the voices? Yeah, yeah, because I'm a ventriloquist. You're a what? I'm a ventriloquist. I make your voice without moving my lips, and I can show you guys later. Your lips are moving all over the place. <laughs> when I make your voice. Your voice, really? Yeah, watch. watch. I'll take his voice away. Replace it with mine. Watch. On the count of three. Okay, okay. Count of three. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. See, now I have his voice. And I have your voice. I know, it's kind of weird to look at, you know? <laughs> People think, wow, well, you know, he's got a puppet voice. You do have a puppet voice, that's really weird. Well, but I have his voice. I can't do the whole show like this, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> I'll just take a bite spontaneously then. Yeah, that'd be better. Okay, here we go. Did you do it yet? No, I didn't do it yet. Wait for the right moment. Hey, me Here we go. Oh, I got it. Bye, right, yeah. Awesome! Because we all have to take responsibility for feeling good about ourselves and believing in ourselves. We all deserve respect and dignity. And what, what the blank slate allows us to do is every day to know that in ourselves and not let anybody put us down 
in a way that's going to keep us from being our best selves. But also the blank slate is a good way of, of recognizing that we also have a chance to be nice to each other every day and make the supportive community, the circle of caring in our school, in our community, that we all deserve. And it's going to really make us thrive. It's going to make us be our best self. This must be the magic thing. You know, I got it from a magic story. They said it was a magic. I don't know. Hello. Oh, the, you're really you're really happy. You know, if somebody made fun of you though, you'd probably be, you know, a little more sad. Oh no. You see, we can you know, we have real control over our feelings the way they and, and and sometimes people get a little bit angry even. Oh man, I wish you hadn't put eyebrows on me. I hate eyebrows. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll erase those. Cyberbullying is when somebody attacks you or says something mean on the internet, on a web page or in a text even, on a cell phone, or online on Facebook, or another, another web-based um, sort of community. Thanks. Uh, awesome. <laughs>